Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Emily Rose Journals. This month's theme is jewels or gemstones. I'm excited to show you. It's pretty and simple and I feel like it takes us back to the basics of just fun decorative doodles without anything overly complicated or difficult to draw. For the colour scheme I just went with these four pastel colours and stuck with them all the way through to keep everything again quite simple. Although I did have to make a change right at the start unfortunately. Um, as soon as I started to use that nice amethyst purple colour I realised it had fully dried out so I had to make a change to a more pinky purple which is what you can see me figuring out here. It's a shame, it's not quite what I wanted, I wanted a real true purple but it is what it is and it still turned out fine in the end. The whole of this theme is then made up of four gemstone shapes. I sort of invented them on the spot but I've just had a quick google to see if there are any official names for them. It started off quite well, so the triangular green gems that I've got are apparently called a trillion shape or a trillion cut. The pale blue um, rounder shapes is a princess cut, but then unfortunately it goes a bit downhill from there. So the pinky purple one, which I've you've seen just then, is just called an elongated hexagon. And the more peachy coloured one, there isn't even a name for that that I can find. So, in my head I've called it a 3D diamond shape. My aim for this page was it to look like there are gemstones trickling down in one corner and creating a pile, basically, across the bottom of the page. Oh my gosh, it took so much time. I don't think I intended for this title page to be quite so time consuming. Basically, I just had to keep drawing and drawing and drawing until I finally had a completed multicolored mound. It I'm pleased with the end result. I think it looks quite pretty, but I don't know if it was quite worth the time that was spent on it. This monthly theme is going to be a nice motivational one, so we are going to make use of some quotes throughout. Um, when I was doing the writing, I decided to use, again, I don't know if this is very official, but in my head, I think this looks like the Tahoma, uh, Microsoft Word Tahoma font. So quite upright, not my usual italic writing. Um, and I think it just gives a bit of a cartoony or slightly more casual look. So yes, I went with my Tahoma font and we have a nice motivational quote here. I also made the decision when there are any black, just fine liner letters, I went over them twice to give them a slightly more scribbled look. And of course it wouldn't be one of my favourite sort of pretty themes without making use of these metallic paints. I decided to go with silver this month instead of my usual favourite gold colour because I thought it would give the gems a real nice twinkle. So I just went through and drew some generic little stars and dots throughout, waited for them to dry and then gave them an outline. Okay, so on to the monthly spread. I think that these spreads are so valuable and are one of my most used spreads in the bullet journaling situation because it gives such a good overview of the month. You don't generally go into too much detail about all of your daily plans and daily events but you will have the main outline for the biggest plans um, in a nice overview here. If it helps for those who are trying to take some inspiration from this, I use a dotted notebook and I use five dots per daily square on this schedule. For me that gives enough space to put down you know, overall events for the day, but it also gives space around the schedule still for some decorations and to write down some goals as well. This little list of goals is quite an important tool for me. I find it a good monthly deadline to get three or four quite important things done and once I've written them in there I hold myself to it so if we're on the 29th of the month and I realise I haven't ticked off one of those goals with whatever chore it might be I will get it done and I find that really useful. 
So the main decoration for this page is this fringe of jewels on strings at the top of the page. I went through, I didn't want it to go um, in a certain colour order, I just gave it a, a random order all the way across and drew my jewels out and then we're going to draw them onto some little strings as well. You probably see some quite sporadic bits of rubbing out on these pages. I don't always rub out all of my pencil marks, sometimes I just find that it's enough to have the fine liner and the felt tips cover them up, but where they are obvious I will go through and, and rub them out. So in keeping with our motivational month with all of the nice motivational quotes, this here is going to be a quote page. I decided for the centerpiece for the quote to use some watercolours to do quite a rough wash of pastel colours in an uncut gemstone shape, so really just a, a bit of a crystal. Apparently this quote is a Chinese proverb, so it's the gem cannot be polished without friction nor man perfected without trials, which I thought was very nice and uplifting. The shape of this crystal is really simple. It's giving it an overall pointed shape and then adding in any lines anywhere to really give it a few facets and give it a slightly rough, crystally geometric shape. But it's simple, you can make of it what you want. And this next page is a gratitude log. I haven't done one for a couple of months, um, but they actually become some of my favourite spreads to look back on in my past journals. Essentially what it is, is a page which gives you space to write one line a day about something that went well, or something that you're happy about in general. Um, and they can be really, really nice things, A, to reflect upon at the end of the day, but B, to look back on in a few months or a few years and look back on what it was that you were enjoying at the time. These next pages are my habit tracker page and my money tracking page. So the habit tracker page I decided this month to call it healthy life, which is my overall aim with it. Um, I also deviated a little bit with the types of tracker that I used, instead of just always doing the blocky monthly schedule type shapes of tracker, I decided to also use some circles. So when I have completed, for example here you can see I want to run a few times a month, and once I have completed that, I'll just shade in the circle to show that it's been done. And then this page is really just a simple budget tracker. I mostly use it to keep an eye on direct debits that come out of my bank account. And yeah, I don't overly fill in a whole bunch of data of what I'm spending on what, but it gives me an overall view of where I'm at throughout the month.
And that takes us on to our first weekly spread. This month I decided to go back to what I used to do quite a while ago, which was to do more separate weekly spreads, rather than just having one huge Dutch door spread for the whole month. I just felt a bit more inspired with this gemstone theme and I had a few more ideas of what I wanted to do. So this is the first week of June then and of course I've started it off with another motivational quote, life keeps throwing me stones and I keep finding diamonds. So if I'm not the most positive person in the world by the end of June, I don't know what else to do. Um, but we're keeping it simple, the main idea for this page is to have a um, oscillating chain of jewels going through the centre and then just spaces for each day and a space for some notes on the um, upper and lower sections of the page. And we've made it onto the final flip through. I'm really curious to know who actually gets to the ends of these videos, so if you have, please leave a, a gemstone emoji in the comments. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I think this theme should just be a nice, pretty, simple one, and if anybody wants to recreate it, I hope it's um, an accessible one that you will be able to recreate. I will be doing some more weekly spreads for this theme since I've only got the first week of June planned out here so I will be showing that as well so please do subscribe if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing in the future and I hope to see you at some of the next videos.